right, we are dealing with the idea of minimize versus maximize here to test what the uh, constraints are on our data sufficiency question. Basically, it's like finding the limits of how big or how small we could make the A country in terms of how many representatives it sends. So if we look at the question, we know we have a total of six countries sending 75 reps. No two countries can send the same. Now it's saying they, they're sending reps. So I'm going to assume the minimum value that can be sent is one. And if I know that country A is the second greatest country, that means we have to have a country that is greater than A. So looking at statement one, it says that one of the six countries sent 41 reps. Okay. Now that's more than half the total, which means that that is definitely the greatest country in terms of how many representatives it sends. Now, if that country sends 41 reps, is it possible that we could have country A send more than 10 reps? So we would need to send 34 reps. Well, in order to maximize A, to try to push it over 10, I'm gonna minimize the other four countries by making them one, two, three, and four reps, which adds up to a total of five plus five is 10. So I have 10 plus the 41 for the other five reps, I have 51 or the other five countries are sending a total of 51 representatives, uh, which means that A would have, to, would have to send 24 reps to get to 75. So it is possible for A to send more than or equal to 10, but does it have to send at least 10? So could it send nine? So I'm trying to find whether or not I can make it less than 10, and I'm doing so by making it the largest number less than 10, because I figure that's gonna be easier than making A send, for example, uh, one country, which wouldn't make any sense because it has to be the second largest number. And so we're gonna have to have A send at least five, just based on this logic. But can I make A send nine? Well, if A sent nine, and the other country that was number one sent 41. That means that we would have sent a total of 50 reps so far, and we need to send a total of 75, which means there's 25 representatives left to be sent from the other four countries. So the other four countries would, if I maximize them, I could make them eight, seven, six, and five. And this is as large as I can make them while making A less than 10. And this would equal 13 times two, which is 26. So it is possible to make, to make this happen while using uh, a number for A that's less than 10. I ended up with 26, I only needed 25, so I could have made the last number here four. But I figured out it was possible. And so statement one is insufficient. OK, because we found situations in which a could be greater than 10 and also didn't have to be greater than 10, which means I don't know the answer to the question yet. Statement two said a sent fewer than 12 representatives to Congress. OK, well, I don't think that based on the logic we have in our first statement, and obviously we can't use the information from the first statement, but based on the logic, we saw we could make a equal nine. So we already know that we can get a no answer to the question of did A send at least 10 reps? Now, can we get a yes answer? Can we make A send, for example, 11 reps or 10 reps? Well, if I send 11 reps, then I need, two, I need to send two less reps from here. So this was equal to 25 once we change this down to four. I need to send two less reps because I'm sending two more from A than I was originally. And that means I could step the four down to two and this is going to work out to the same total, which means that yes, I can send more than 10 or less than 10 based on the rule in statement two, which was that A sends fewer than 12, meaning at most 11. So this is also insufficient. Okay, looking at the looking at the two statements together, do they add value to each other? Well, I don't think they do because we already assessed in statement two the same situation that we were using from statement one. 
we were already assuming when we did this math and moved the smallest number of reps down to two, that we had a total of 50 reps between, uh, or rather we ended up with 52 reps. So we only needed 23 reps from these four parties, but we were still using this 41 for the greatest number, which is all that statement one gives us. So I'm gonna say these two do not add value to the process we've already gone through. And that means that this is still insufficient when taken together, which means our answer is actually E. And that is typically one of the uh, tougher answers to get. You'll actually find that answer choice C is the most common answer on data sufficiency for a correct answer. But in this situation, while it looks like they add value to each other, um, they don't add that much value to each other. And there's still a possibility uh, for A to be either over or equal to 10 or less than 10. And answer choice E is where we end up.